I don't have much time, but you need to know the truth. There are forces out there that want you to think that Burdock is just a weed. It's not. Burdock is not evil! <laughs> Burdock is reported as a noxious weed by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Well, this is mostly because, much like its misunderstood friend the dandelion, it can spread itself easily and it's pretty hard to get rid of. Hmm, not looking too good yet, is it? Now, this is also because one burdock plant can spread around 15,000 seeds. Burdock is a member of the daisy family and most closely resembles milk thistle. The most common form of burdock comes from Europe, but is used more often in Japan where it's called gobo. And when we're talking burdock tea, we're talking about burdock root, as burdock roots are where most of the nutrients are. Burdock tea has been used since the time of the Egyptians for various ailments. But let's get into what science says burdock is good for right now. So you don't see it as the evil scourge lots of people think it is. One of the best things about burdock root tea is it helps you pee more. Now this is because burdock is a diuretic. And if you've seen my videos on dandelions or kidney health, you'll know that diuretics are one of the best things for helping people move bad things out of their system and to help people who are retaining too much water. And this is backed up by research that tells us that burdock can help purify your blood, remove toxins from your system, and increase blood circulation in your body. Granted, there isn't enough research. There's never enough research, apparently. Making burdock one of those scary fringe herbs people don't want to talk about at parties. But this doesn't mean that burdock tea can't be great for you, especially in the area of cancer. Recent studies have shown that burdock could possibly inhibit certain types of cancer. This includes a 2010 study on pancreatic cancer, a 2016 study on breast cancer and a 2011 study on liver cancer. It's almost scary how good this can be. But darkness looms when it comes to blood sugar and diabetes benefits. For while we do have some studies that say it can reduce blood sugar and improve diabetes symptoms, a 2015 study concluded Meh. raw burdock root really doesn't do anything. However, that same study said that fermented burdock root does help with high blood pressure. So I guess we just have to jazz up our burdock tea to get these benefits. Also in burdock tea's corner is inulin, that wonderful prebiotic fiber that's been shown to help blood sugar levels and digestion. And burdock root normally clocks in about 48 to 50% inulin. Yeah! Take that burdock fear mongers. If you're in Burdock Tea's corner, then click that like button and share this out to your friends. Burdock brilliance for all, or at least a couple friends. A 2016 study on 36 people with knee osteoarthritis found that burdock root tea helped to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress levels. Its antioxidants have been shown to seek out and destroy free radicals that cause aging, arthritis, and a wide range of other ailments. Burdock tea's antioxidants can also be particularly effective for infections. Science now shows that burdock can be great at fighting tonsillitis, sore throats, and killing biofilms that can cause various infections, such as influenza. A 2015 study even showed that burdock root can help fight urinary tract infections. So it's not only a good guy, but it's fighting the bad guys. I knew it. And now that you know how awesome burdock root tea is, we get to what this champion herb perhaps does best. Studies show that burdock's ability to clear out toxins can help control the redness and soreness that comes with acne, rosacea, and eczema. And its anti-inflammatory benefits can help with some minor burns. Oddly, there aren't any direct studies on burdock root for its hair benefits. Luckily, there's lots of research around the various components of burdock root that show it can be very helpful for hair in a variety of ways. And while this can't be substantiated, Maria Trebin, who's a famous herbalist who once wrote that a burdock tea hair wash helped her hair grow back so thick she could barely brush it. Now I can't legitimately hype this up too much as there's only one study on rats that showed how the aqueous extraction of burdock root, correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds an awful lot like burdock root tea to me, helped to increase both sexual function and behavior in rats. As for anecdotal evidence, there's some people who say it works better for them than Viagra. And in some cultures, it's given to the bride and groom as a honeymoon joke. So that of course means it has to work, right? Green, green, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, sign them all. The fact that many people see burdock root tea as an evil entity may be down to the fact that it resembles a true master of malevolence, Belladonna. 
aka Deadly Nightshade. So if you're picking it fresh, best to make extra sure you know exactly what you're grabbing. Other potential side effects are happily very limited. The main one being that some people are allergic to the plants of the daisy family. There's also a small chance of developing skin pustules when taken with dandelion. And this is most likely because it's so good at getting toxins out of your skin that those same toxins are causing a problem on the way out. And as usual, you'll need to be careful if you're taking any prescription drugs as burdock can interact poorly with some of those. Experts say to be careful using burdock tea around pregnancy as there's a low risk of it causing spotting and miscarriage. But there isn't actually any science saying how likely this is. Like most advice involving herbs and pregnancy, this is more of a better safe than sorry kind of thing. You remember how burdock root is high in inulin? Some people can be subject to bloating when having too much inulin. Luckily, most people can handle up to 20 grams of inulin a day before problems happen. Large doses of burdock have also been shown to cause potassium levels to drop. But if you're just having one cup of burdock tea per day, you really aren't in that much danger of that happening. And besides that, you're in the clear. It's only deadly to animals. Whoa, what? Burdock sharp. Unforgiving burrs can cause skin irritation and infections in dogs, horses, and livestock. Studies have even shown that it can capture birds and bats, killing them when they can't get free. Oh my gosh, Burdock is the bad guy. But that's Burdock burrs. Burdock tea is still a good guy, right? Burdock tea can easily be made by taking 2 to 4 grams of dried burdock root, then boiling it in 8 ounces of water for 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how strong you want it. Keep in mind that some say burdock has a sweet, mild, and pungent flavor, but others liken it to a dirt-laced artichoke. So you'll probably want to add some honey and some other herbs, like say mint, lavender, and hyssop to make it taste better. If you're in the mood for a little less controversial tea, watch this video next. Or if you want some more controversy, try this one. Please be kind, take care of each other, and don't be too quick to judge an herb by its bad reputation.